What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we're talking about Star Wars, and we're talking about Mark Hamill because uh, apparently he's fed up with JJ and his uh, secretive way of directing films. New Star Wars Episode Nine spoiler prevention is giving Mark Hamill a headache. It's like working on some secret deep state government organization. Um, it says Mark Hamill has revealed how the new security measures of uh, Episode Nine is giving him a bit of a headache. Talking to EW on the set of Nightfall, Hamill recalled how on the very first Star Wars movie, he was able to just share the script around with friends because nobody cared. But now he doesn't even get a paper copy of the script. Nowadays, it's like working for some soup or some secret deep state government organization like being in the CIA. They're going to send rewrites over to Prague on this dark red paper that gives you a headache to read, he explained. The same type of pages were used on The Force Awakens because if they're copied, the copy will come out black and impossible to read. Hamill was at least allowed to keep a paper script for The Last Jedi, but it doesn't look like he'll get the chance with Episode 9. They're going to fly the rewrites over with somebody from the company. They're going to come and give it to me and wait for me to read it and give it back. So no pressure. You can't even keep it overnight. But that's the way it is now, Hamill noted. Um, uh, we still don't know exactly how Hamill will return as Luke Skywalker in Episode Nine, but we can pretty much guarantee that his weird idea about Luke's mom won't be won't happen. Um, so, you know, uh, what do I think about this? Do I think this? I've had some people ask me, do I think this changes anything? Do I think that this means that he could be coming back? No, I don't think that. I mean, I'm not saying could he come back alive. I mean, I guess he could. We all hope he does. Uh, but I don't think this means anything. This is kind of how JJ operates. JJ is very secretive. Um, you know, I know that Ryan Johnson was a bit secretive, but not not to the level of JJ Abrams. JJ Abrams is incredibly secretive on his films. He always has been. It was the same way on The Force Awakens. But I don't think this means anything. This is just kind of par for the course for JJ. And nothing is going to get me excited. Nothing is going to get me excited for Episode Nine at this point because they've they've done it to themselves. They've done it to themselves. I don't care right now. Like I mean, again. I'm fascinated by this movie. I'm fascinated for different reasons, though. Not the reasons I should be. Not the reasons I should be going into a Star Wars movie being excited. I'm fascinated because of the how disjointed this trilogy is going to feel. From Episode 7, and then Episode 8, which seemed to have nothing to do with Episode 7. And then how Colin Trevorrow was on Episode 9, and then he got fired, and then J.J. Abrams comes back. And it seems like J.J. Abrams is coming back because he's frustrated with what Ryan did with 8. And again, all this is happening within the sequel trilogy of Star Wars, the most anticipated sequel trilogy ever. And this is all happening because of the mismanagement at Lucasfilm. So episode nine being on spoiler lockdown prevention means absolutely nothing to me. It doesn't mean that anything has it doesn't mean anything specific. This is just how JJ Abrams operates. And so don't get too excited because you're hearing of this. This is just par for the course. So what do you guys think? Do you think do you think Luke is coming back in episode nine alive? I, I at this point, like I said, if he's not alive, it's gonna be. I mean, it's already gonna be bad. But I mean, if he is alive, it's gonna be directly a, a shot at Ryan Johnson. If he is alive, we've already pretty much gotten confirmation that, that Kylo Ren is gonna have his his mask back, which is an it's kind of another direct indication that Ryan Johnson screwed things up and they're trying to retcon this the best they can but they have been spending the last year telling us that we were wrong so if you're going to creatively if you're going to take it creatively if you're going to try to change everything that Ryan did and show that he actually did screw up but you've been spending the last year telling us that we're all just man babies and we can never be happy and blah 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 what is it? Are you because creatively it seems like you're probably moving away from Ryan Johnson. There's no mention of his trilogy. We haven't heard anything about his trilogy. Bob Iger didn't mention Ryan Johnson uh, several months ago when he was talking about the future of Star Wars. And we've gotten confirmation, not solid, it's not confirmed 100%, but it seems like Kylo Ren's mask is going to be back. And we are seeing that we're hearing rumors that Luke might be alive. If that continues to fall into place, it's going to be a direct indictment of what Ryan Johnson did with episode eight. But Lucasfilm, you told us we were wrong. You dismissed us. And now the creative direction could be moving away from episode eight, the very thing we were complaining about, but you told us we were wrong. Lucasfilm is a mess. 
That's really what this comes down to. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you later.